In number seven, we need to find the Maclaurin series for sine of 2x. So this one's pretty simple as long as you know what the Maclaurin series for sine of x is, and that's one of the things you definitely should have memorized for this test. So remember that sine x can be written as a series, a Maclaurin series, in the following way. You have x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x cubed over 5 factorial on and on. So what do you have here? You have odd powers of x, you have alternating series, and you have the odd fact corresponding factorials and its denominators. Now you could write that out in series form also, but you don't need to for this problem. So we want sine 2x instead. So what does that mean? Everywhere there's an x, we're going to be putting a 2x instead. And for the first term, that's not really a big deal. Just remember for every other one, you're putting that 2x in for x, so the entire thing is going to be raised to that new power. So all I did there was substitute everywhere you saw an x, we put a 2x instead. So to make that look like uh, the correct answer on the answer key, which is B, um, we can just expand those couple of things. So 2x quantity cubed is 8x cubed. And 2x to the fifth would be 32x to the fifth. <clears throat> and there we have our answer, which is answer choice B.